Welcome to Money Mondays. I'm CJ. This is Moen coming on to you from Dallas Real Networks. You know, last week, man, we got a chance to dive into a very interesting topic, the world of finance. And you educated me on the fact that money and currency weren't the same thing. So tell me, now, if money and currency aren't the same thing, what on earth is wealth? Our wealth is time and freedom. Money is just a tool to exchange our time, to gain something that we don't have. It's an economic container, if you want to call it, wow. to, to be deployed later on for later use. Now, for way too long, we have been diverted from real money as the citizens of the world and has been fooled to use currency. Now, there is a specific difference between money and currency historically when it was started. And it, you can find out by going through the monetary policies and all that stuff. This is the specific reason why the world right now is going through a massive economic and financial crisis. You can see it in Europe. Greece failed in their monetary policy. Italy failed. You know, their countries going after one another, falling. The, economic, the United States went through a bad, war, one of the worst economic disaster in 2008. And it's not over yet. Wow, and you know, it's weird that you say that, you know, it's not over because I noticed that the markets right now are, they're really jumping. It seems like ever since we've gotten a new president, mm -hmm. we have a new president in the office. Yes. Um, you know, we had the, the fall in 2008, yes. but it seems like we're in this weird transition phase now. Well, you are a stock trader. Yeah. And you should understand this. The market is all about enthusiasm. Yeah, president true. Donald Trump's business background has provoked an enthusiasm into the marketplace and people are just trading and trading and making this host money. They're making money, to be honest with you. Yeah. But the thing is, it just shows you how many people has no clue about what is money and what is currency. People are making money. You, you made some money. Absolutely. You're making money. But is your money based on anything? Is it real? That's the question. It is, and it's a very good question, but I think, you know, we have to really take a step back. We gotta take a step back, you know, really, really back, because where did all this stuff start from? I know the US wasn't the first one to come up with a currency and mm -hmm. decide that it would start exchanging. Where did this, where did all this stuff take place? Well, as I'm, I'm educating myself right now. So as far as I have researched, it, it, I figured out that it all started in Egypt. People started trading with each other and they figured out that they need something that they can exchange other than just barter. They started using gold and silver which was in different shapes and sizes and it was hard for them to put a price on products. Then they started making coins out of gold. Yeah. Now they realized the government and they started building the banks and they st started understanding what banking is and they realized that this was way too valuable because it's not infinite. It's a finite amount of gold and silver in the world. So they started putting the gold in the reserve and printing money based on the gold for us to use. Then I don't know what happened. We went down yeah. as a human civilization and we started going to fiat currency, which is the US dollar, which is, this is what it is. It's so dumb. It is based on not gold and silver. There is no, there is no gold and silver. It's based on the government's promises and IOUs, that's, that's just paper written from the Federal Reserve, which gives banks permission to print money, which is based on completely nothing. Wow. And we as normal citizens are busting our behind, working day and night so hard to gain a little piece of this pie, which is based on nothing, which means they can print how many percent, how much they want. But we as normal citizens have to work for it, you know what I mean? Government can print as much as they want, but you and me, we have to work for it. That so, means control hmm? over the people. So what makes money money? What makes currency currency? Money is exchangeable, portable, durable, divisible, and fungible. Fungible just means that one dollar in his pocket would be the same amount in my dollar all over the world. Money is the same things, but with an addition, which means a storage of value for a long period of time. That's what the difference is. But it has to be based back by gold because without that, I mean, yes, it's fungible, it's paper, but what is the value? 
It's paper. What is it based on? Hmm. What is it based on? If there is no gold, is what is it based on? I don't know. What's going on? Yeah. Sounds like a problem. I'm really monotone. I mean, we are going to go deep inside this from now on and onwards and Dallas Real every Monday, which we call Money Mondays, because I'm trying to educate myself and you're trying to educate yourself as a trader. Yeah. So, that's what it is. Well, hey man, listen, I'm mind blown by the situation. I don't understand it all, but I'm definitely willing to learn. Thankfully, we have more in here to educate us all. So, if you don't want to take our word for it, that's quite all right. I'm just a black man in some sweats talking to an immigrant from Bangladesh. So, what do we know? But in honor of President's Day, why don't we turn it over to one of our former presidents to see how it all played out last time? Good evening. This is an extraordinary period for America's economy. Over the past few weeks, many Americans have felt anxiety about their finances and their future. I understand their worry and their frustration. We've seen triple-digit swings in the stock market. Major financial institutions have teetered on the edge of collapse, and some have failed. As uncertainty has grown, many banks have restricted lending. Credit markets have frozen and families and businesses have found it harder to borrow money. We are in the midst of a serious financial crisis, and the federal government is responding with decisive action. We boosted confidence in money market mutual funds and acted to prevent major investors from intentionally driving down stocks for their own personal gain. Most importantly, my administration is working with Congress to address the root cause behind much of the instability in our markets.